Hello everybody, welcome back to The Backroads. This is kind of episode four of Project MR2. I'm Jared, this is Marty. What we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna to be doing a bit of a basic slash light detail on the car because um, I hate cleaning cars and I'm always abusing him because I drive most of the time and I park it under a tree. So we're gonna be giving an outer wash um, using some Autoglen products and then we're also going to be doing a bit in the inside and also try the engine bay, which is a bit messy. I've tried it before but it doesn't look too good. Um, I, I basically just stole a steamer off my sister I used for carpets and just some degreaser did something. Um, so Liam's gonna be joining me today because he likes cleaning cars because he's odd. Um, and we'll- odd. <laughs> odd? Silence, camera operator. <laughs> <laughs> Silence. <laughs> um, and yeah, we're gonna just have a go and see how nice looking we can get Marty before eventually we do a proper detail after practicing on the RAV4, which will hopefully join the channel soon. We're here at the wash bay at Luna Automotive now to give Marty a wash down because it's filthy. Um, been driving it all weekend and park it under the tree, etc. etc. Um, so, first, rinse down with the pressure washer we've got here. Then, we're going to attack the wheels a bit. I think we've got a wash and wax, Liam. Wash and wax next. Um, then, after that, we will get it into the uh, into the shop so we can give it a proper detail. Hopefully, do the engine bay, etc. and get it looking nice and shiny because I don't clean it properly because I'm lazy and just want to drive it. Cool, so quick rinse down of the car just to get the base dirt off. Now we're gonna be using Auto Glim clean wheels to just have a quick try on these alloys. After applying the wheel cleaner and letting that sit on the wheel for about a minute, we used a cheap and cheerful brush to clear out the pockets of dust and dirt that had built up over time. And then we moved on to using a pressure washer once again to rinse off all of that dirt and the leftover chemical that was on the wheel to get them looking nice and shiny. Cool, so we've just given a rinse of the car and done a proper clean of the wheels because they were covered in brake dust from my terrible driving. So now what we're going to do is we've got some auto clean, not sponsored, um, shampoo conditioner just for the bodywork. So me and Liam are going to work, work that around the car together. Using our beautiful microfiber wash mitts, we worked the shampoo all over the car in place of using the most fun thing ever, a snow foam cannon, which admittedly we didn't have on hand. What the shampoo is being used for here is breaking down all of the dirt that's accumulated from driving, which our quick rinse didn't get off the car. So we can then happily pull a clean Marty into the workshop for the proper detailing portion of the day. Right, we've got Marty back inside now, and what, now we're going to get to work drying off the car and then working on some of the finer details with engine bay, doing a bit of the interior, probably looking at the wheels again, the lights, etc. So we're going to get to work on that now. So with shampoo and rinsing now out of the way on the MR2, it was time to dry the car to get rid of all of those imperfect streaks and droplets of water that are currently sat on the paintwork. Main reason for this is quite frankly, just to get rid of it so you have a nice clean smooth surface in order for us to apply the new polish to. We also decided to clean up the wheels with Auto Gleam wheel protector, just so that brake dust in the future isn't quite as much as a problem as it was for us the first time round. And it means that next time we go to wash it, it should be easier to clean. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing now, we're using Auto Glim Super Resin Polish, um, not sponsored, don't wanna get in trouble. We're gonna hand polish this into the car because we don't wanna use a machine polisher yet whilst we're still learning how to do this kind of stuff because I'm, I'm rubbish at cleaning cars, Liam's much better than me, but we're gonna practice that on some shittier cars we have in the fleet, um, so we can then learn and then make very pretty cars down the line. So let's have some fun with it. <laughs> I 
for too much already. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least he's got enough to cover the panel. Let's try that again, shall we? Got it that time. <laughs> Just about. <laughs> <laughs> Pop the headlights were popped down and polish was poorly squirted, but eventually we got to work applying the polish with some small pads in circular motions before then streaking it up and down to make sure we had a good area coverage and it isn't laid on too thick. The same way in game as before with the other chemicals we've used, let it settle for a bit before then using a designated wiping pad to clear off the polish. Cool, so we've just polished it and well Liam's done most of the work, I did half of it okay, he did the other half much better. Um, and he's just wiped it all off and it looks great. I've never done polish before, not really got any idea how it works, but you probably just saw it on the time lapse. I had a little, little moment as I was running my hand, hand across it. It's very smooth now, it's lovely. So I'm gonna try attacking the rest of the car now um, and get Marty looking fresh. Hopefully it stops it gathering as much dirt in the future with rain and such. I think that's how it works. And yeah, get a nice and shiny car. For the sake of time, here's one I made earlier. It was important for us to cover the panels as quickly as possible and as efficiently as possible so that we had more than enough time left to detail the engine bay and the interior. The rest of the car was fairly simple to cover, so fortunately this didn't take too long at all. It's helped massively. The big difference, I mean it hasn't got out like all of the scratches, but it's definitely helped reduce the, the size of them and the impact that they have on the paintwork, which is good. Clean, is there? Clean. Oh yeah, the most clean is the Japanese car, yeah. The yes. There we go. So it makes it sound like they weren't the same team, Liam. Hmm? Makes it sound like they weren't the same team. It is the <laughs> Axis powers. We do have the Axis fleet. We've got, we've got Marty here. And then if we have a little, little over there, we have, well, we have, one 911, but uh, we have Mr. 944, which is unnamed. You don't have a name for him, do you? No, it's just Weirdo. the Porsche or the Porsche. For I like, I'd, like to I'd like to know everybody. If you have names for your cars, please let us know in the comments. I will try and get back to all of you who have names and, and judge them. Or if you don't have names, let me know. I'll give you suggestions. Porsche, yeah, yeah. If you don't I will name your car. We'll help you name it. <laughs> I will name your car. Every single car in the family has a name, and I'm will I will extend that to our TBR family. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a circus man. <laughs> I could I could do a good wide Putin. Go on then. No, I don't want to. <laughs> okay, so now that we've polished all of the car over, uh, it's now time to use some fast glass on the glass panels just to make them clear up a little bit. We'll also use it on the inside when we get to that in a bit. Once we've done the glass, it's over to the engine bay. Using the free labour of Liam, ironic from a man with a surname Freeman, we used Auto Glim Fast Glass to clean up all of the glass on the car with a clean microfiber so unsurprisingly I can see well. Right, so now we're all very shiny with our polish, we're starting to attack the engine bay. The first thing we're going to do is take these kind of strut chassis braces off. These aren't actually for NA MR2s for anyone interested. I believe these are actually off for turbo. This one's slightly bent and it's cracked and rusted a bit. So it's probably from a salvage car. Um, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this off. I'm um, gonna pass them over to Liam. He's got some gloss black. He wants to attack it with and give this a bit of a respray so it looks nice. Uh, and then we're gonna get on with the rest of the engine, get it nice and clean, get the metal polish out that we use for the exhaust in episode two and see what we can do, get nice and shiny because it's currently a bit tatty. Okay, so now that we have the strut braces off, we've got gloss black and some lacquer, and we're gonna respray them so they look a little bit cleaner on the car. When detailing the engine bay, we opted for a light clean instead of the super deep one originally planned, as we very quickly realized, due to the frequency this car is used, it's likely to attract road grime fairly easily. When removing some of the nasty road dirt and grime and salt that's built up on the metal engine covers, we decided to go for brass wire brushes. Why? Well, simply because brass is a soft metal, so it doesn't scratch as much as something like steel. For the metal polishing, I used a mixture of Meguiar's metal polish and our lord and saviour that is Autosol. The two together provided some excellent results and really changed the look of the metal engine covers for the better. Arguably far from a spotless engine, but most certainly an improvement nonetheless. 
Applying the polish was fairly easy, we just used pea sized dots and then worked it into the metal to bring it back to a nice shiny surface. Overall I think it came out pretty well, although I'll leave that to you in the comments. So, the final product. For two idiots that aren't really too familiar with detailing, the paintwork came up like a charm. Having an almost mirror-like finish and as smooth as glass to the touch. Impressive considering we detailed this car without the use of a clay bar, although perhaps that is more a testament to the condition of the car itself. Not to mention how well the stainless metal on the exhaust pipes cleared up and the interior regained its colour. The basic detail we did on the paintwork managed to give the car a deep shine and revitalise a lot of the colour, as well as reduce the visual appearance of the imperfections in the bodywork quite dramatically. Ultimately, this was an exercise in learning and the skills we've acquired from detailing the MR2 will carry over to other projects, as well as giving us a taste for improving our own detailing skills even further into the future. Overall, I would say we achieved our goal in giving the MR2 its first detail in our ownership, but there was one final thing left to do. A little present that I got Jared and something some of you have been asking about too. Cool, so the final little thing we're going to do to the car after we detailed it is Liam has got a lovely little present for me and himself. He's got one as well. Uh, we've got some nice reflective stickers just to show off the uh, the Instagrams. Obviously follow us here if you haven't already. So we're going to put them on Marty initially. We're going to start off the TBR one. I think um, passenger size what what's gets seen the most, so we will put that on here. That's not straight. Oh, that's all right though. No, it's not. So you wonder why Liam's doing the uh, the one with my own name on it. And Liam, do you want to say why? Yeah, because the other side was completely off center and it winds me up. That's why. Mm. Ah, see, that's what I should have done. I should, I should have actually... Uh, Lined it up with that. I should have peeled it first all the way. Yep. Clearly, I am the pro out of the two of us. Well, I've never put stickers on a car before, Liam. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done it before. The only the only sticker I've ever put on is uh, is on my laptops. So. <laughs> That's true, actually. Man, they look lovely. It's nice. These are really good. Yes. They have done this a bit more delicately than I did. I will be honest. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, look at Beautiful. that. Beautiful. That actually looks really good. Thank you everybody once again for joining us on the back roads. This has been episode four of Project MR2 and as you saw today, we have done a bit of a detail on, on Marty. We've done the wheels, we've given him a good rinse over, shampooed him, polished, just feels like I'm talking about a pet. <laughs> Thank you once again to, for Loon Automotive for hosting us. Um, it's been great, we're stealing all of his facilities as usual um, as we'll continue to do so until we're kicked out. Um, and yeah, please make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let us know anything you, you want in the future from us and we'll see you again next week. Bye.